హాయ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఇస్ త్రినాథ్ రెడ్డి వెల్కమ్ టు అన్ అకాడమీ లైవ్ గేట్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎయిటీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ టీచింగ్ ఎక్స్ టీచింగ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ గేట్ అండ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ సర్వీసెస్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ టీచింగ్ అనలాగ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ సర్క్యూట్స్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ డివైజెస్ అండ్ సర్క్యూట్స్ కంట్రోల్ సిస్టమ్స్ అండ్ సిగ్నల్స్ అండ్ సిస్టమ్స్ so now i would like to solve a problem on bjt amplifier circuits which was asked in previous gate papers let us have a look at the question so some amplifier circuit is given like this they are asking us to find the input impedance output impedance and voltage gain basically amplifier means always first we always uh, think of these three things to be calculated so anyway let us see this a bjt bipolar junction transistor a bipolar junction transistor amplifier circuit is shown in the figure assume that the current source i bias current source i bias is ideal a current source ideal current source is kept and transistor has very large it is beta a small correction here it is beta has very large beta rb is zero base internal resistance and it is ro it is ro please observe this small correction here ro output resistance is infinite okay then determine the ac a small signal mid band voltage gain v output by vs input resistance ri and output resistance ro output resistance r o of the circuit assume vt thermal equivalent voltage volt equivalent of temperature sorry volt equivalent of temperature it is given as 26 milli volts okay this was the question so how to solve this question first of all right so if you take it's a dc equivalent first of all let us take the dc equivalent circuit dc means with respect to dc all the capacitors act as open circuit so if you take this one where you have the capacitors this capacitor it acts as open circuit and this will also act as open circuit and current ac source should be removed this ac source should be zero means it is going to ground short circuit i can take it okay so if i open these two capacitors and short circuit this if i make this ac source vs zero it acts as short circuit so its ac equivalent will be like this. sorry dc equivalent will be as follows i am taking its dc equivalent we have a current source after that from collector some base resistance rb it is given as 0.5 milli ampere some vcc how much is the value given here anyway it is not given vcc we need not bother about it it is vcc and once vs is a zero there is a resistance it is around 50 ohms i think or 52 yes it is 50 ohms and this resistance is 100k we need not bother about this 100k of course because they mentioned beta is infinite means ib is neglected so if i neglect ib this current is ic and this is ib plus ic this is ie right and what about ic or ie it is equal to so i am neglecting this ib neglecting ib right ic actually this current it should be ib plus ic ib plus ic that is ie okay once you are neglecting ib then ic is equal to ie is equal to 0.5 milli ampere so we can take ic is equal to ie is equal to 0.5 milli ampere as they mentioned beta is infinite i am taking it so beta is infinite means alpha is 1 alpha is 1 means ic is equal to ie okay we can take ic value then what is gm gm is equal to ic by vt ic is 0.5 milli ampere by vt is equal to 26 milli volt that is given in the data so its value is 1 by 52 mos 
GM transconductance of BJT. It is found to be 1 by 52 ohms. We can take it so. And next, okay, coming to the circuit here, in this amplifier circuit, okay, what kind of amplifier is this? Is it CE amplifier or CC amplifier or CB amplifier? Let us uh, draw its AC equivalent, then we can automatically understand what amplifier is this. So, with respect to AC, now with respect to DC, what is happening? We have seen. Now, I am uh, just uh, arranging these things like uh, these things I am arranging. With respect to DC, we have seen. Now, I would like to see with respect to AC. With respect to AC, how the things are changing? means uh, while taking with respect to AC we assume both the capacitors this capacitor and this capacitor they act as short circuit they have given c1 c2 are infinite but they are very large means for the given AC input frequency the capacitors act as short circuit it is short circuit and it is also short circuit and DC sources should be removed so DC sources means if it is voltage source we do, we make it zero voltage source zero means short circuit current source zero means open circuit so once this current source is open right zero it acts as open circuit that's it and the AC source remains as it is remaining part can be taken as it is two capacitors short circuit current source is open and RL and collector to base there is there is a resistance of hundred k we can take it then. Coming to its AC equivalent, here I am writing the AC equivalent. So what we can see with respect to AC? It is Vs base, it is going to ground from collector, 1K is going to ground and there is RB from collector to base it is around 100 kilo ohms it is given as 50 ohms this is what you can see and further this circuit can be redrawn like this Okay, here itself I can write it. Or you see this 100k, one end of 100k is connected to the collector, another end is connected to base which is going to ground. Means, uh, see, I am redrawing the circuit like this Vs 50 ohms, base is going to ground from collector these two resistors can be taken like this already 1k is existing now this 100k collector to ground only it is connected it is 100k so that 100k parallel with 1k right 100k parallel with 1k i can take this parallel combination it is approximately equal to 1 kilo ohm right now further what we can write see this this circuit can be further redrawn like this. One kilo ohm. This is our output and Vs. It is fifty ohms. You see this. Further, I am rewriting like this. The base is connected to ground, and input is given at the emitter, and output is taken at the collector. Input is given at the emitter, and output is taken at the collector. Base is connected to ground. Means it is common base amplifier. 
in common base amplifier what is its small signal equivalent circuit if you take its small signal equivalent circuit this voltage veb and this current ic right instead of bgt symbol what we can write means i'm right going to the next slide here i'm writing it so common base amplifier once you understand that the given circuit is common base amplifier here it is 1 by gm it's a pi model i am writing it it is equal to minus gm into veb 1 kilo ohm it is ic v naught and vs 50 ohms Fifty ohms. It is V E B. Like this, we can write it. Now we can find the things. So, what is the input resistance? What is the resistance looking from the source? And output resistance. What is the resistance looking from the output side? And gain. What is the input resistance? We can write. If I take this current as II, Vs by II, it is V source voltage by the current coming out of the source, that is equal to 50 plus 1 by Gm. And 50 plus, we have seen Gm is equal to 1 by 52. You see, if you remember so, Gm is 1 by 52 mos, so that our Gm here, 1 by Gm is 52, it is 102 ohms. It's a common base amplifier. Input impedance should be small. And output resistance. For finding the output resistance, if you make Vs 0, Veb will be 0. If Veb is 0, it is open. Then the resistance looking into the output terminals, that is equal to 1 kilo ohm. We can take it. Right. And how to find the gain then? For gain, I can write V output is equal to minus ic into 1 kilo ohm minus ic into 1k where ic is equal to minus gm into veb that is gm into veb into 1 kilo ohm and what about veb in terms of vs it is equal to it is equal to gm into 1k into veb is vs into 1 by gm by 50 plus 1 by gm we can take it from that if i write the voltage gain av gain av is equal to v output by vs it is equal to here i can cancel this gm and 1 by gm so 1 kilo ohm by 50 plus 1 by gm it is 1 kilo ohm by 50 plus 1 by gm it is equal to 1000 by 50 plus 52 approximately it is equal to 10 that's it common base gain should be positive no doubt about it so voltage gain is positive and its value is found to be 10 and input impedance should be low it comes around 102 ohms output resistance is 1 kilo ohm this is the idea behind this problem it was a question asked in previous gate papers of uh, uh, electronics branch okay and it was a question asked in previous old papers only nowadays there were not questions in common base we can even predict the question we can expect the question on common base like this okay then that's about the problem right we have uh, seen then coming to the benefits of an academy plus uh, we have unlimited access 
so you can access uh, the classes of uh, so many faculty members uh, unlimitedly uh, it's all up to your patience how much you can able to receive and it is not like only a particular slot is available to attend the section right it will be recorded once you take the subscription for three months or six months or one year you can attend the sections for uh, that particular period and you you can attend each and every class for uh, n number of times so that uh, you from the class by listening the class itself you can uh, remember so many things understand and you have any doubts you can ask all such things are possible uh, it is completely different from uh, offline uh, teaching okay and uh, structured live courses yes here once all the subjects are uh, uh, available on the net and here also right the, the program is planned in such a way that first always prerequisites will be taken care on live and the remaining subjects will follow it and suppose you miss the prerequisite subject then also you need not bother because it is already available online so once uh, uh, you you can go through the previous uh, prerequisite subject then you can start the advanced subject which is uh, based on the previous subject your confidence level will improve and your uh, sub depth of subject will keep on increasing and here we have the top educators so each and every faculty member has vast experience with uh, very good academic profiles and all so that uh, you can make use of the resources uh, and every faculty is specialized in some areas so that you can see the best uh, possible uh, concepts from the educators so these are the advantages uh, you have with uh, an academy plus and finally, uh, my course, upcoming course here is, as the GET exam is coming close, right, I am starting a crash course on analog electronic circuits uh, for this uh, uh, GET uh, uh, 2020. So, here I am completely splitting the analog electronic circuits uh, um, course into four modules like uh, diode applications, BJT, FET and op-amps. And parallelly, I will be doing diode applications and BJT first and next i will go to the third and fourth modules parallelly right and to attend my course online you can subscribe to an academy and you can use the referral code trk10 to avail 10 percent discount on the courses you are joining thank you all i wish you all the best thank you once again